I've just been told you're a YouTuber. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll look you up later. And see you all the way back. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today's video is about ham radio. What I want to do today is I want to show you how you can have quite a minimal antenna setup for VHF frequencies, so like the two meter ham band, and yeah, make some good contacts with that. You know, you don't always need a massive antenna on a pole outside, you know, with all the proper installation to actually make some good contacts. And in fact, at the moment, I haven't got a big antenna outside on a pole. <laughs> anyway, this weekend, I thought I'd just grab my ICOM 705, which is that radio there um, in the background and as you can see I've put up some extra shelves at the back so I can just have a radio there this little section behind is gonna become like a little bit of a radio hub where I'm gonna have some more stuff so I can do some more videos there I've got a few radios that are in boxes at the moment that I need to kind of get out and get using anyway I'll take the camera over there and I'll show you what I've been experimenting with so this is my icon IC705 next to the drone up here and um, it's an absolutely brilliant radio. Like if you want to get into the hobby, I mean, you know, it is quite expensive, but it is a kind of do it all radio. It does everything you can possibly think of on here. You've got digital, you've got all access to all bands, HF, right the way through to 70 SEMS. Um, it's got a built in battery. It's got, you know, everything you can think of. It's an SDR, so it's nice and modern. You can see like big chunks of bandwidth on the screen and see if there's activity in different places, which is absolutely fantastic. Really a must for these days. So you can see a signal pop up there. Not sure what that is, but, um, probably a repeater and this radio kicks out 10 watts output power when it's on external 12 volts so if you've got a power supply or a battery or something like that it will utilize the full 10 watts which is great because if you've just passed your foundation test 10 watts is the maximum you can use and this radio will do that no problem so let's have a look at the antenna setup here now so you can see it's got this fancy thing it doesn't come with this um, this radio but it has basically like a BNC antenna socket on the side of the radio and what I've got here is like a sort of L-shaped thing I forget what this adapter is now but I think it's a Mydel um, adapter it basically allows you to have a right angled SO239 so you can kind of you know connect antennas vertically otherwise they'd be coming out kind of that way you've seen me do the cb videos with this um where i was doing that so what i'm using here it's not really necessary for what i'm going to do here but i'm using this uh this wonder wand wide bander now this allows you to tune antennas to different frequencies we're not going to worry too much about that um right now what we're mainly interested in is just this telescopic antenna here so that is literally what i'm using right now for an antenna and you saw obviously it was picking up a repeater there so it's obviously working quite well now my location is quite high up now i will say for all the experts out there who'll be going what are you doing why have you got like a telescopic air like that yeah okay look this was just thrown together just as a test to see you know what we could do you shouldn't really have antennas this close to walls but that's why it's kind of angled out now that'll be doing all sorts of things to the kind of you know radiation pattern of this antenna but i'm about to show you what i managed to do with this antenna set up like this so on saturday afternoon there was a station calling and he was actually running um, part of a scouts jamboree on the air um thing so let's just go here these are my recordings so you can record everything on this on this radio um and i think it was somewhere around this sort of time we'll go back up it was definitely on 450 so it was on 145 450 i'm gonna hit play there Alpha, and my apologies, Golf Bravo 2, Golf Papa, I'll, uh, I'll leave it to it. No, it's okay, I just um, saw you flick up on the, S on the SDR there, I'm, I'm not using the frequency, but I was actually monitoring this one, uh, so you're free to, free to go ahead um, for M6 JKA. So just pause that there briefly, so what happened was, I was just tuning across the band, just literally got this antenna out of the cupboard, put it on the radio, and was just filling around. The idea was just to have this radio just sitting here and, you know, monitoring any really super local stuff that I could possibly get. And then, out of nowhere, um, Tom shows up. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, can I just get your calling in, please? I wasn't expecting Yeah, it's uh, Mexico 6, Juliet, Kilo, Alpha, um, location Hartford. I'm portable at the moment. Good stuff, uh, location Hartford M6 JKA GB2 GP. Um, yeah, uh, my name's Tom, Tango Oscar Mike, up at Gilwell Park Scout Activity, Activity Centre, just uh, running a jamboree on the air uh, day for the uh, for the scouts up here, over. Oh, brilliant job, that's, that's great to hear. Um, yeah, well, best of luck with the, um, the contacts if you're going to try and uh, make some more. I just literally just fired this radio up, actually, and I've got a telescopic 
um, whip on the top. Location's quite high up here, so um, he usually does kind of, these things usually do quite work, work fairly well, but yeah, just literally um, a telescopic on the back, on the side of a uh, Icon My C705. Um, back to you from Mike 6, Juliet, Kilo Alpha. M6 JK, GP2 GP. Uh, yeah, good stuff, uh, working well. Nice, solid, 5.9s, no noise really into GP2 GP here. Uh, again, fairly good location here as well. Um, we're running for this station. This is just a Diamond X30 collinear up at 12 meters above ground level. Pretty good takeoff in all directions from up there, I'd say. Uh, nice view over central London from here to the south, uh, but uh, should be getting out pretty much in all directions. Uh, I didn't get your name. Sorry, your name over. Yeah, name's Andy this way. Name's Andy this way. Yeah, you, you're definitely doing a good job. Um, it's five and nine over it, um, and yeah, I mean basically we're pretty clear to the. To the to all angles as well, um, so I can kind of can't quite see the London skyline, but you know I can, I can see the lights in the distance when it's when it's dark um, up there. So yeah, it must be must be the thing that's doing the job. But um, yeah, best of luck with um, with all the uh, the contacts there. I, I take it you're going to be on for a little while longer. Um, back to you from M6 JKA. Name's Andy. Over. Yeah, thanks, Andy. M6 JKA. I think you said portable GB2 GB. Yeah, uh, I think we've had a batch of kids uh, depart for the day. Uh, we're probably going to keep the station on air. Um, we're on the QO100 satellite, uh, 2 and 70 FM, and I think 40 metres at the moment. Uh, so uh, a little bit of uh, variety here. Um, it's nice to keep uh, Scout HQ on the air um, and uh, just be here for those who, uh, who want to reach out to, uh, to the National HQ here. Uh, back to you, Andy. Uh, probably for a final, if that's OK. I'm, I'm just wanting to... Uh, uh, talk to uh, to another guy who I know is waiting for me on frequency. M6 JKA portable GB2 GP. Yeah, GB2 GP uh, from M6 JKA. Yeah, no worries there. Uh, no problem at all. I'll be sitting on the uh, on the frequency listening anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, going to go make a cup of tea and get get all that side of things sorted. Um, so yeah, nice to catch you on here. Best of luck again, and um, catch you further down from M6 JKA. Yeah, I've just been told you're a YouTuber. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll look you up later, Andy. All the very best. Take care. Small uh, world. YouTube. Ah, brilliant stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> Give you that one. Okay, mate. No problem at all. Catch you later from M6JK. Gun clear. The, uh, Paul, M0. So pretty interesting stuff. You can see that works really well. And it's just literally like a, a 90s kind of FM radio antenna. But there is one thing here. It's adjusted absolutely perfectly to the frequency that we're using. And I'll show you kind of roughly how I've done that and why it's easier to do that on a radio like the 705 versus something like this sort of handheld. Now you probably could use a cheap Chinese radio like this to make the same contact. You don't need to have a thousand pound ICOM IC705 by any stretch. Um, it might not be quite as clear his end and you might actually struggle um, depending on lots of things but basically the antenna on this is, is not very efficient for the frequencies. It will work but it's not kind of perfect. You can have a go and the chances are you might be heard you might not it's basically a compromise so could you put that telescopic antenna on the top of here yes you could but as i said there's a reason why it, it's very difficult to tune an antenna on a radio like this without other things like swr meters so that's what i'll show you now right so back over at the radio we're on 145.500 megahertz which is the um, calling channel for two meter vhf um, on the amateur bands and I've set the meter here to show my incoming receiving sort of signal S points and also SWR. So SWR will only happen on transmit, so signal to wave ratio that is, and that is showing reflected power. Now if you've got a really bad antenna that will be off the chart and if you've got a good antenna it'll be you know right down the bottom. Your aim is to have that very low, as low as possible. So if we transmit something CQ2, CQ2, mic 6, Juliet Kilo Alpha, portable, listening for any calls, listening for any calls. There's no one about this morning, I didn't think there would be. So you saw when I made a transmission, that was very, very low. Now if we just grab this antenna and just kind of move this, you know, down a little bit like that. What you see now is I won't transmit for long, but see how high that is? It's just not working. And the reason why it's waving around as well is because this cable is becoming part of the antenna. It's a bit like a sort of ground plane. So pretty basic stuff. All I did was literally just kind of move this up and down and transmitted 
not on the calling frequency but somewhere else just nearby so see if I could get the SWR reading down low now you can with this sort of thing you can actually do the same sort of thing fine-tune it with these dials here that's a topic for another video this is a great bit of kit and it covers lots of other bands and does other things you know that we're not doing here effectively if you just got this antenna and stuck it on the top of the radio and slid it up and down it would do exactly the same thing so you can see that if you did get your telescopic antenna connected to your cheap chinese handheld with a bunch of adapters um it's going to be difficult to tune this uh, telescopic antenna exactly right because these radios don't have an SWR meter and that's the point they haven't got any way of having of measuring SWR um, I don't know why that is really on modern handouts they should put SWR meters in them uh, it must be something to do with um, you know technically maybe it would make, make it bigger uh, more complicated I mean I'm not saying it's not going to work because you could measure this use an antenna calculator online measure the telescopic antenna and then mark it you know so that you know exactly where it is and you'd probably be in the ballpark but the point is you're not using a lot of power with these sort of things and when that SWR is high it means that power is not going out to the antenna it's getting reflected back down so you're going to lose precious power on something like this that doesn't you know have a lot of power to start with so like all of these videos when i kind of start them i always end up uncovering something on the way and that that is that point why do these radios not have swr meters even my really expensive id52 doesn't have that feature and that would be such a useful feature to have now there are swr meters i've seen that can go on top of the antenna it's like a box with a little screen on it um, and that goes on the antenna port and then you put your antenna on the top those i want to look at next and we'll see if they actually work um, and what frequencies they cover there's also one other thing that i didn't mention which is called counterpoise and that is effectively what that mic cable was doing to our um, antenna it became part of the antenna because we didn't have a proper ground plane on our actual antenna because you're just using a, a telescopic width so if you have a little piece of wire you know running down um, on the ground part of the antenna um, that will help you know tenfold as well you know having some kind of ground plane effectively and that's going to be more important with handhelds because you haven't got the mic cable and it can get even more complicated because using your mic lead as a counterpoise is generally not a good idea um, depending on what you're doing um, because you can get RF feedback in the mic which distorts your voice and everything else so you can see there's lots of things to think about with radio anyway guys that's going to be it for this one let me know what you thought of the video in the comments hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like do the usual stuff and I'll catch you next time.